This logo is for the upcoming Maslin Museum exhibition titled Blind Spot, A Matter of Perception, on view from February 18th to May 23rd, 2017. The exhibition logo consists of two main shapes, a simplified wide open eye overlapping the top half of a triangle. The logo featured here contains a sneak peek of one of 10 paintings in the exhibition. Inside the space where the eye and triangle overlap within the logo is a segment of the painting Carnival 4, completed by Richard Andress in 1969. The segment of this painting shows a lively array of several colors, primarily whites, blues, reds, and yellows, which are divided into abstract shapes by black lines. The shapes are congested and busy, alluding to the hustle and bustle of a carnival scene. Inside the space where the eye and a triangle overlap is a segment of the painting Earth 4, painted by David Appleman in 1968. This oil painting on canvas is composed primarily of geometric shapes. Within the segment of the painting, a bright electric orange peaks around the edges of a black shape which escorts creamy green and blue shapes of a bold and equally ambiguous nature. An off-white color takes up the remaining space in this intriguing artwork. Inside the space where the eye and a triangle overlap is a segment of the painting Gourd Head, completed by Sherry Hornbrook in 2000. The segment is teeming with abstract shapes in various colors, ranging from peach to green to purple. Overall, the composition seems to mimic botanical life in springtime. Apart from several black shapes, the painting is dominated by lightness. None of the shapes can be easily defined, but all are quite organic and free of any sharp edges. This blind spot logo is coupled with Julius Faysash's Shoreline, an oil painting on canvas created in 1970. Soothing oranges streak through curious passages of green and blue. These greens and blues seem to levitate over a series of unspecified shapes in a shade of maroon. The blind spot logo frames a segment of a 1971 acrylic and mixed media composition titled Camelot by Claire Ferreter. Rough oval-like shapes reside inside the logo. Their colors morph gradually. A legion of irregular square-like shapes are scattered around the right side of the painting. Everything rests on a background of seemingly random splashes of muddy gray and creamy yellow. Inside the space where the eye and triangle overlap is a segment of the painting Celebration, painted by Richard Florsheim in 1969. This oil and wax painting on gesso is composed of a stirring explosion of fiery color. Popping yellows and oranges distinguish themselves against a background of blue-green inflections. Inside the space where the eye and triangle overlap is a segment of the painting Normandale Afternoon, painted by Leo Thomas Kissel in 1963. This piece presents a unique composition of long strokes and rounded angles. A true blue dominates the top of the negative space while multiple earthy tones collide, creating movement in the painting. Inside the space where the eye and triangle overlap is a segment of the painting Abstraction, completed by Walter Quirt in 1952. The segment, which is mostly white, resembles a somewhat barren landscape punctuated with bright colors and populated by two abstract creatures made of gray cone-like shapes. Framing these figures are various black lines and shapes in light blue and green to the right of the figures with a red oval shape to the left. Inside the space where the eye and triangle overlap is a segment of the painting Ancestral Spectre, completed by Theodoros Stamos 
in 1946. This particular segment of the painting is quite dark and haunting and made up of several muted colors that all seem to have a black undertone. The painting seems to have been created using a sponge or similar tool, but there are sharp black lines on top of the background. Some of the lines create hatch marks, some create spiral shapes, and some are simply curved. All of the lines appear to be almost gouged out using a sharp tool. Inside the space or the eye and triangle overlap is a segment of the painting Phoenix, completed by Theodoros Stamos in 1952. In contrast to his other artwork in the show, this segment has a bright quality to it, made up mostly of warm yellow and beige colors. There is also some navy in horizontal strokes in the right side of the segment. The composition contains merely strokes of color, all of which suggest movement mostly to the right. For more information about this pioneering exhibition, please visit www.maslinmuseum.org backslash blindspot. We hope you will join us for the opening reception on Saturday, February 18th from 3 to 5 p.m. The Maslin Museum thanks our sponsors for support of this exhibition. Arts and Stark, Ohio Arts Council, MCTV, Clovernook Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Bates Printing Incorporated, Bonnie's Engravers Gallery and Signs, Cyrus Custom Framing, Farmers National Bank, Maslin Development Foundation, Maslin West Stark Chamber of Commerce, The Dell Group, Yun's Car Wash, Western Reserve PBS, Classic Interactions LLC, the Philomathian Society of the Blind, Fred's Carpets, the Canton Symphony Orchestra, the Cleveland Institute of Music, and the State Library of Ohio Talking Book Program.